All right. Yeah, they're coming. That's all right. We're going to get them from here. Zach's coming across to there. Yas is going across to there. I'm just going to demonstrate it here so you get it. All right. Okay. So the game, yep, put it on. But you go to this grid. Go and join this grid. So you're a white in there. Okay, Christy, can you go out to that side down there? So you should have two blues in the back end zone. So Yasa joined Christy. And then Aiden and Anna there, just like you two. So spread yourselves out a little bit. So just give you a little bit of context. The space that you're playing in is this middle square. You don't come into here. Okay, so there's no dot here. You don't need one really. We can probably steal that one so you can see it. So steal one of those back ones and just put it here so they can see that that's the line that they don't cross. Okay, that's fine. That's right, just steal one from there, don't, don't stress. Okay, so you've got a 3v3 in here. When you play out to one of the defenders, they can either drive in with the ball or they play it in depending on if they've got space. So for example, if Nick's got the ball, if he plays it to Liam and Liam decides first touch to bring it in, then Liam stays inside here and makes it a 4v3. Then we try and get the ball across to that side and get another defender in. If you get all four in and keep possession, that's how you score. All right? So what if, so what if so Boom. Liam comes Boom. in? Yep. These guys win the ball, does he go back in? Okay, so immediately, as soon as you win the ball, Reds, the extra defenders that were in here must retreat and leave the grid. But how they retreat is very important. I don't want them to retreat like this. I want them to actually turn their hips, sprint out, but still keep an eye on it because they might get played straight away. So you're getting your body ready for how it would happen in a game in terms of a transition moment. So I'm not doing this and going, yeah, yeah, easy, or walking out with my back to the play. I sprint out, I get in a position, and I'm ready to be uh, of service to the team in possession. All right, there's no limit to touches. However, if you play him, so let's say you play um, Liam, and he chooses not to drive in because there's no space to drive and just play in, that's fine too. So if his, his touch keeps him inside here, he can just play Nick and he can support. And Nick might then use Aiden, tap it to Aiden, Aiden drive in straight away. Because there's more space for Aiden to drive because the red, look, the red press is here. So if Ethan was to drive there, it'd be stupid, he'd be running into trouble. But Aiden has got space. So I want you to identify that. Yes, Hannah? Uh, you, can, you guys can play one touch to each other if it's not on to play there. So you should spread yourselves a little bit. You ready? Let's give it a go. Play. So can you get all four defenders into the grid? That'll be a goal if you do. Good, good communication. Good. Nice. Good, looks pretty good. Good. Okay, turnover. So again, you can always use Gurleen to keep possession and give the midfielders a chance to breathe. So basically feel the, the speed and tempo of the game. Good, Aiden. Good. Yes. Oh, turnover. Let's be on our toes on the outside. Put that there just to give you a guide. Good. Just to give you a guide, so that's roughly where you're halfway where your line is. Good. Okay, now pause for a moment. Keep it like you'll keep possession in a sec. So this one, this particular activity is very interesting because as a defender, this is how you get the ball in the game a lot of the time. So there's usually a back four. Of that back four, you're usually pressed by one as a central striker and then maybe two wingers from time to time. But you've usually got a lot of time on the ball. 
So you need to dictate the tempo of this game. So the center backs are so important to slowing the game down, but also accelerating the game when it's on. So there's nothing wrong with, if Nick plays me, Red, you've gone across to press Liam. So Nick's played me and I see Hannah and I can first touch, take it in and bring her straight into the game. Why not? That's the equivalent of, of me splitting a line in the game in a big match because I've taken out all these players. Yes? Is it better for those defenders or whatever to be further back or closer to the line? Just depends on the ball. So if, you, if you're patient build up, you probably want to come further back to create more space. If you can see a moment to break, then you want to step closer so you're in quicker. It all depends on the scenario. All right? So let's go again for a minute and then we'll change the outside players. Go. Play. Good. So pick your moment. So Christy, if there's two defenders there, maybe it's not an option to drive. Maybe you play it to Yasser. Okay, good. Good. So pick and choose your moment. When do you join in? When do you stay away? Unlucky, split him. Sorry. Correct. Good, Liam. Good. Good, good. Well done. Nice. Good, you got two in there. Can you get the third in? Okay, you sprint out, turn your back to the game. Don't turn your back to the game. All right, hold for a moment. Let's change those four outside players. So two reds, two whites, swap with the four blues. I'll show you how you can make this even more game realistic to finish with, because we only got a couple of minutes. I would have done this progression later on, but I want to see how you do it. So now it's one ginormous game. There's a back four here. Okay, the two grids are combined. There's a back four there. What's wrong, Nick? That's okay, you're still gonna be driving in a lot. So now it's a really, it's a, you've actually got a proper back four. You've got a midfield six battle happening in there. And you're obviously trying to get the ball same way. If you can get, if you can get three of the blues into the middle, that's a goal. And make one successful pass, that's a goal. If you get four, it's three goals. If you get five, it's six goals. I don't think you'll get more than five. If you somehow get more than five, you're absolute geniuses. All right, you ready? Reds have got it, play. So go. So you guys can play across to each other, yeah? I don't want you to drop in here, Zach, because there's already four defenders. I want you to stay away from them. So you, you guys are trying to find space in the middle there. Dante, play to Reds, play to Reds, play to Reds. Get a pass and then we're live, good. That's okay, still got it. Play it across to the defenders. Remember, you can play across to each other here. Yeah, yeah, like a back four, yeah, and shuffle it. Good. Good, Declan. Now stay in. You're inside. Oh, they, did they lose it? No. Nah. I don't know. You're with whites, so stay with whites. So be an extra player now, like a neutral, yeah? Good boy. Okay, now you come back out. Let's go. Good. Good, well done. That's it. Be patient. Can someone drive in and create an overload? Dexon, Dexon, Dexon. Off the right. Good, that's fine. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Go. Stay in. You could have went in with it. That's fine. Yeah, you can follow your pass. It's like playing a one-two. If you can drive in, it's better. But if you have to follow your pass, that's fine too. Absolutely. If you've got the space and they haven't pressed you, drive. Good, good, Yasser. Stay in there now. Stay in there, Yasser. Where's the third? Ah, three. Okay, one nil. 
Yeah, he did. He drove in first. He was just keeping a position on that side there. Okay, one nil to Whites. Good. Here we go. Good, you're in there. Stay in there now. So can you combine? Good boy. Stay in, create some shapes. Good. Oh, no, that's gone. That's gone. Red ball. Red ball. Sloppy pass. <laughs> you could try it. I've never seen anyone try that. Here you go, Red Bull. Remember, this is just to show you. I would have coached this a little bit more in detail in a normal session. This is just to show you how it looks. Three in. Okay, it's a goal. Keep going. Can you get four in? Oh, turnover. Run out, defenders. Quick, get out, get out, get out. Good. Good. Just keep possession. Keep possession if it's not on. Good boy. Well done. Whoever gets it can play. Yeah, so come back out, good boy. Alright, breathe, that'll do ya. Come into here. Just a quick debrief because I know you didn't get a chance to go in, that's fine. Alright, so that is a holistic session, strongly focused on passing, receiving, moving, finding space. Does holistic mean like whole? Whole, yeah, so more like a game. Holistic, yeah. Isolated is when I just take elements of it out. Now, who enjoyed that version? Okay, and most players do, myself included. All right, so now when we watch the footage back, we'll be able to see, all right, in which one did I get to practice receiving this way or receiving with a half turn and twisting that way? That'll be interesting to see. Okay, did everything I do in this one just be a one touch across or a two touch across with my back foot, which is fine. But if that's the only tool, again, going back to what we spoke about last week, when we used the boxing analogy, all right? If you only have one way to play, one way to receive the ball, one way to do things, you get worked out by better players. So the question will be is when we go and look at that again, what was your comfort zone? Did you go back to what you already knew? Or did you try new skills to solve these problems in the game? Now, without watching the footage yet, what do you think? What do you think you did more of? What you were already good at or what you wanted to get better at? Yeah, and most players do that. Most people do that because we don't want to be embarrassed, okay? So it's very interesting. It'll be very good footage. There's three very good exercises that you did in there um, and lots of good data that we can use for the, for the analysis part of it, all right? Any questions while we're still here? All right, can we do a quick group pack up, take everything back in and well done. Good what sesh. What were you say yesterday? What? About the why we don't yeah, What were you going to say? Oh, yeah. Australians don't disguise or something? I'll do it when we're watching the video. I'll, sh I'll use the footage to show you that. Okay, because it's better to see it and then explain it. Well, that's when Dion decided that his conversation was uh, much more relevant. I'll tell you what, when you get the footage, have a look at how often people disguise the pass before they make it. Or does it, can you predict one step ahead where Oki's going to pass, where Dante's going to pass, where Steph's going to pass, so on and so forth. That'll be interesting. Do whites go in this one as well? Or is it just reds? 